So guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how you can uh, calculate the area or the uh, loading that would be acting from the slab to the beams. As you can see, this is my structural design plan, uh, the first road plan basically, and uh, actually I made these slabs and other things. So let's just get started on on how to calculate the area area of the slab or the of the loadings, so that we can estimate the uh, what you can say the uh, load that will be acting on the slab itself like uh, firstly let's start by uh, filtering out a few stuffs you don't need these stuffs actually neither do we need this one so i've closed these layers now you see i'm having only the structural design after having the structural design what you need to do is just you need to uh, put this turbola tracking to 45 and then just take a line command l and uh, as you can see this is a two-way slab and the this length is the having the ly so this is the slab itself now what i'll be doing is i'll be just taking a line and take this up polar tracking should track the 45 degree angle for that you need to turn this on Now take this at 45 degree. Let's start this by placing this at 45 degrees. Uh, it should actually track 45. That I will be keeping this on object positioning. Taking this at 45 now. Um, but taking this again. This also at 45. Now from the this edge. Take this at 45. Now from this edge, 45. You can see your small line is formed, and for that I'll be doing this. I don't need this anymore, so just delete this up. Then trim command, trim up these unrequired lines. This is how the deflection or the uh, actual loading diagram of that beam will look like. This portion will be uh, supported by this beam, this by this beam, this by this beam, and this by this beam. So now, similarly, uh, by using this method, we can find the other parts. But for that, you firstly you need to know which one is the long span. And the long span in my case is this one. <laughs> this is the long, longest span. 3.77 this is the uh, ly so my 45 degree will be from this side now the we're just facing connection over here this is also done now coming over here uh, these are actually one way slabs so what you need to do is that uh, with the deflection or the yield theory of one way is that half of the load of the slab will be resting on this uh, beam and half of the slab's weight will be resting on this beam so what you need to do is just uh, take a line take mid between two points one end here one end here and drop a perpendicular this is done similarly this portion will also act in the same way line command right click mid between two points this one this one and perpendicular for this part actually this is small so in, even though i'll be taking it as two way only because it's a small and uh, it's having a dimensions ratio this way These are the loading for these slabs. Now, what I'll be doing is now uh, I need to calculate the area of this portion, the inner part. So for that, I'll be using the boundary command B O. Boundary, enter, pick point, uh, enter, take this, create a boundary of that. 
you can see this line is uh, taken up by an entire polygon is actually shaded by a polygon so what I'll be doing is I just replacing the li list command and it will give me the area and this is the area of that figure this is the area 3.55 similarly for this part this is the area taking this li and the area is 4.01 which I'll be placing over here now this is uh, what you can do so uh, now we'll take the, the for this area now take this one the l i list command and then area now this is the uh, load that will be acting on uh, this this much area will act on this slab like uh, the load will be here on this slab On this uh, this portion of this lab this 4.01 will act over here and this uh, four will act on this side this will act on these beams similarly uh, you can see this 3.15 and this are same so what I'll be doing is I'll be just taking a midpoint these both values are same and also this one is also same mirror these are all having the same areas. Now, once you are done with areas, you can, what you can do is you can have Excel. You can have your Excel. Take the Excel values. Like uh, firstly, type the uh, slab name or any any identity. Identity, uh, the unit weight of the concrete or the uh, reinforced member depth of the member <coughs> and then finally what you need to do is put the area now the unit weight for concrete is actually 25 uh, kN per meter cube and suppose I put this beam as I'll take this uh, this panel name as A to avoid any confusion in the future this part name is A so I'll be taking this 3.55 Unit weight depth is about uh, approximately 1.0015 mm, mm, and the area is in meter cube. I'll show you what happened. That's a uh, 3.55. 3.55. So the mm, load from slab is equal to this multiplied by this divided by as this is an nm so i'll be taking divided by 1000 and multiplied by the slab this is the load that will be acting kilonewton and this unit is in kilonewton per meters or cubic meter this is an nm this is in square meter So now simultaneously, uh, you, what you can do is that uh, these two values actually remain constant for for number of beams. So now this part, just come over here. This is 4.1, 4.01, and this uh, now over here. This is 1.96, 1.96, and over this, uh, I'll take the area of this part, this portion, smaller one. For that, I need to make a boundary first. Pick point boundary creation, make the boundary. I have made the boundary of this part. Now the triangle can be detected. Take this area, just paste it over here. 0.25, 0. And now what could be done is that it's simple. I'll just pull and drag the properties. We have actually calculated the loads. So now you can transfer this load of 3.55. The load is. This code will be acting over here. So it's actually getting a bit big. Don't need this. So this portion, uh, the load will be 3.13.55. For this 4.01, the load will be uh, <coughs> 4.01. And uh, as you can see, these are the cantilever parts, cantilever portion. And uh, for that, I'll be taking up the beam levels up. 
can see this is a cantilever portion. So what I'll be doing now is that so we don't need this stuff. So close this one. First I'll be creating a boundary. To take an area you actually need to have a boundary first. Internal point selected, this area. Align. Then this the area is what I need. For this you need to have your drawing in the uh, scaled version 2.93. Let's put the value here 2.93 and uh, drag this down drag this down we have the uh, load that will be acting on this beam on this beam and what i do is just start up the beam variables so forgive me and my computer is not supporting just the beam labels are working right now in this way uh, what you can do is create an entire file of these uh, readings Actually, we have actually modified this slab now. Mm, this is 3.55, and it's the same in the drawing, I guess. Yeah, 3.55. Uh, turn off the additional point. Two points. Now you can see 3.55. Uh, I've actually you can even hash it, hash it, to so show that uh, this load will be acting on this beam, and this load will be acting on this beam, and this cantilever can be acting on this part. Now, what you can additionally do is that uh, you can just copy this part. Place it downward, edit this. What is the load for this 4.011 from Excel? 4.01, it was 15.15 kilonewton. This 15 kilonewton, and this is the load that will be acting as a UDL on this beam. So in this way you can calculate the area and the load that will be acting on the building itself. So hope it works. And the areas are in the hatch portion. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.